when you're a kid and you're growing up mm -hmm. and you're playing these games, you think like this is the most important thing. Right. If I can win this, then I'm the winner. I am the best. Yes. But really, when you grow up, you realize like, oh, if I was the best at tug of war when I was a kid, it doesn't matter. Doesn't like, mean anything. I, I can, I'll still be poor. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Nick. I'm a director living in Taiwan. Hey everybody, I'm Luca. I'm from La living in Taiwan. And today we are going to be talking about the phenomenon, the show that everybody is watching, Squid yeah. Game. Yeah, Yu Yu Yoshi. Um, so this is a show from Korea, and it's I read that it's pop, it's the most popular show in over 90 countries right now. Oh yeah. So everybody is watching it and loving it and like talking about it. It's like you know you'll see things about it everywhere. Yeah. Um, so this is no spoilers in this review. I haven't finished it yet. I've only seen half of it. But <laughs> what I wanted to talk about was like, what are the elements of this show that we think make it so popular? Like, why is this such a popular thing? Like, what, what are people connecting with, do you think? I really like the setup they made. Mm. The interior design. Yeah, for sure. It's very unique. Pretty big budget producing. Yeah. And each, each scene is spectacular. Yeah, like the, the, the design of everything is very cool looking. It's slick. It's like very unique and colorful and bright. Yeah. Um, and then I think, you know, the, the story itself is like something that we've that is seen a lot. It's like the idea of like a game where you have to compete, but if you lose, you die. Yeah. Like there's a lot of shows and movies that have been like this. There's like The Running Man was an original. This one already like become a type yeah. of the, yeah, the movie. Yeah, a genre almost. Genre. Like, yeah, like yeah. Battle Royale. Yeah. Uh, the Hunger Games, Hunger Games. <laughs> and then more also recently uh, another Japanese show that I really liked, uh, Alice in Borderland. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of these kind of shows. Um, I think the interesting thing about it to me too, though, is more like the theme of the show. I wonder if that's what's connecting the theme. people, which is like these people that are um, really poor, that don't have any money, yeah. and then they have to compete in this like life or death game to get money. I mean, it's very obviously like a social commentary. Yeah. Because it's made in South Korea and a lot of stuff in South Korea is about this because in South Korea, the economic difference is very big. Yeah. You know, uh, the movie Parasite that came out last yeah, year is a exactly. similar, about the same kind of thing. Like characters have the same kind of problem. It's like people have no money so they have to do like kind of crime or weird things in order to get money to survive. Yeah. Um, and so I think this theme really connects with people just like Parasite did. That's why this like stuff coming out of Korea, they're hit on a topic that I think a lot of people everywhere in America, here, Japan, they all connect with. Because mm -hmm. when you watch the show, when like you watch the first episode, me as a viewer, I think like, oh yeah, it sucks to be poor. I wish I could have a way to yeah. get money. Yeah. You know? And there's one line in the first episode that one person says where they're like, well... I don't know. I would rather just keep playing the game because if I go back to the real world, it's even worse. Yeah. So maybe is it a reason people like this show? Yeah. Which is pretty connected to each one of us. We are dealing with li in this society and then we got tracked or we are living in depressed mm -hmm. situations. So people really wanted to get out. People really want to have a fair chance to winning. Yeah. yeah 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 that yeah exactly like it's all about like so another another thing i was thinking is like this is like some because this stuff is coming out of korea right yeah and i wonder if this is some kind of like metaphor for like south korea north korea metaphor like like so like the the real society or like the real world like the outside world where like you know it's like economic whatever is like the capitalism in south korea mm -hmm. then when you go into the game room it's like the communist society where like the leaders there's leaders right, right and they classes. control everything yeah and like people are in uniform and they force you to do things you don't maybe don't want to do yeah. it's sort and of they, fair like everybody gets the same chance but also it's brutal and you can get killed you know yeah, what i mean yeah so it's like like north korea is like that like it's totalitarian where everything is quote unquote fair but like there's somebody controlling you so. they wanted to perform the fair the judgment but is it real fair? I don't exactly, know. right? I don't really So it's like, think so. sort of like fair, but not really fair. So I don't know. I mean, I was just one idea that I had. Like, maybe that was their, their jumping off point for like why, what yeah. they're, like they're kind of saying. There's a lot of really good metaphor around the 
episodes. Mm. Really, but you don't finish it, so I don't really mm -hmm. maybe not talk. Well, yeah, we don't want to have any spoilers, except for me, especially. I, don't <laughs> know you, I just don't want to know what happened yet. Um, but I mean, I think I think another part of it is like, for me, this show is more interesting than, than like The Hunger Games, and I was trying to think of like why because it's kind of the same, right? Yeah. But I think the real difference is that the um, it's more clear like what they're what they're trying to say about like the economic difference and difference. like how people are trapped and like you know you have like an old guy in the game and you really feel bad for these people and you're like oh yeah they just are like stuck in a situation and they have no way out and so they're kind of forced to do this they have no choice so you have to do game of uh, like risky game and then the interesting other thing is that it's like kids games right and i think that's a really interesting thing to use because when you're a kid and you're growing up mm -hmm. and you play in these games you think like this is the most important thing Right. If I can win this, then I am the winner. I am the best. Yes. But really, when you grow up, you realize like, oh, if I was the best at tug of war when I was a kid, it doesn't matter. Doesn't like, mean anything. I, I can, I'll still be poor. Yeah, yeah. But like, also in a way, like the games, like capitalism, or like, or like the way society is set up, it's also just like a game, but it's just like a different game. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're the richest guy, you just got good at like a different kind of game. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like. So, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of like comparing, like, the kid's game to, to like, uh, the real, like, the game of life or whatever, you know what I mean? So, they create an environment in which everyone go back to play those games when you was young. There's no difference in yeah. classes. Yeah. Even if you are from rich family or poor family, yeah, you, you can just, still win the game. You can, you, you got a free chance. You just have to practice it, yeah, get good yeah. at it, and, like, figure it out. Um, we were just talking to your friend before we were shooting this yeah. and he was saying he didn't really like the show that much because the games are too simple, it's right? It's too simple. Which I think it's is an interesting game. point because it's like as you're watching the show, you kind of know, like there's nothing to figure out as a viewer, which is something that's better in like a show like Alice in Borderland where yeah. it's like more of a puzzle. Yeah. So this is totally different importance of the, the show is not about the game it's about yeah. the society the human relationship yeah what they're like saying classes. Yeah, yeah and the other one is focused on the game itself. yeah like what what's the puzzle like what's the thing you can figure out like yeah. and you as a viewer are also trying to figure out the puzzle with the characters so that's kind of like the driving force of that show but with this one you're more like hoping that they can emotionally yeah. winning or kind of struggle inside their minds which yeah. is yeah pretty pretty good because they break those kind of of type of film like all those all, all this type of film it focuses on the game itself how to win the game mm. how how to crack the game but for this one it's not about the game game is just game it's more about the one who competed with you or the teammate you mm, deal with your so friend like who you who really you, who you match with or like stuff like that yeah, yeah who really you can trust really interesting yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, I would, you know, if you're loving Squid Game, let us know what you think. If you hate Squid Game, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and, uh, you know, share, tell your friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.